look how you're coming at you. I hope everybody is taking care and being blessed today. Today, I was not going to record this, but I figure I record it. So just in case another holiday is coming, I am actually making a cake for my husband. Uh, I am making a banana cheesecake. Um, he kept on seeing this uh, really good looking cheesecake on Facebook, and I did too. He loved banana, and he sent it to me. He was like, oh, would you make this for me? But he didn't. He don't even know you guys. I'm going to make this for his birthday. So what you'll be needing is, I already put the jello inside of this container because I'm about to make the jello, make the jello and the cheesecake separate. Um, I have forgot milk, so I had to go out and go get milk out as cold as I don't know what. Um, you guys gonna be needing some graham cracker crust. Um, I got the extra um, two servings because I wanted to just have some extra. Um, I'm, like I told you guys, I, oh I may not have told you, I'm not a banana person, but I'm gonna try it just to see what it is. I also have some fresh bananas, vanilla wafers, and I was, I don't eat banana pudding, and I totally forgot we usually get, it's a brand Nila something, but not this brand, but hopefully this is good. You'll also be needing some Jell-O Bake um, Cheesecake. You guys know I'm not the type of person that make things from scratch. If you wanna make your cheesecake from scratch, you most definitely can do that. You're also gonna be needing some milk. Um, don't use soy milk because soy milk would not work for this. Um, I read it on the back of the thing, so that's why I had to go out and look at regular milk. I use 2% milk. Okay, so I have never made um, jello before, this um, pudding rather. And you guys, it was so crazy because it was hard to find banana. It was real hard. But anyway, so what we're going to do, y'all, is follow the directions on the back of this package of how to make your um, your jello. And it's say, um, get some, put some, use some milk. And let me go ahead and get that all together. Hold on one second. And you guys, I probably only needed one banana, but I got two because I wanted it to taste like banana. So let's say put two cups of milk in here. And since I have two of them in there, we're going to use four cups because you got to double it. And it make a big mess too. Let me just make sure that, that that's what it said. And we're not going to be using all this pudding, y'all. Um, you have two cups of cold, so we, we'll be using four. And I already rinsed the sauce, so let's go ahead and get... I'm going to do the two cups first, and then I'll put in the other... Um, and go slow so that you don't want to make a mess, okay? Get your spoon. And it says whisk it. So let me find my whisk in here. Here we go. You know we all got a drawer, you guys, with all kinds of stuff in there. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, y'all. You know me. Our meals be easy, be freezy. We don't want to like to have to do too much when it comes to doing things. I just didn't want to... Um, buy a cake like I always do. I always buy a cake. So I decided why not just make it. Okay, so it says whisk this for five minutes, y'all. So I got a whisker. I'm going to go ahead and whisk this for five minutes once I feel how it feels. And then I'll add the other um, amount of milk to it as it stays. Okay? Okay, you guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to only add two cups because it's like if I add two more cups, it's going to be drippy and runny. And I don't want it to be like that. Like I told you guys, I, this is my first time making um, uh, the banana pudding. So we got that together. And it smelled real good, too, y'all. Yeah, like, super good. I'm going to put some, uh, um, let me put something on top of this. Hold on one second. Okay, you guys, now we opened up the Jello package. Yeah, I love this Jello um, stuff. So I'm telling you guys, you have to try it. You will so like it. And it is best to have a beater. So I'm actually about to get my beater out real quick. Okay? So bring your beater out. And we won't be using the graham cracker crust inside of there because remember, we already got our graham cracker crust together. That's the good thing about this. I don't even use this. I already go ahead and have the graham cracker crust already made. So that's less you got to do. You know me, you know I like to do things as easy as possible. Okay, so I got my beater. Empty all your contents into a bowl. I'm gonna tell you, let's see. <clears throat> okay, one and one half cups of milk. So go ahead and get, I already poured the cheesecake filling inside of there already. Do one and one half cups of milk. And you just look on that. That's why it's always good to have a measuring cup and always have the beater. And beaters are cheap, especially around the holidays. You only got to spend a bunch of money for a good beater. Okay, and I used to make this so much, y'all, but I have not made this in so long. So first, what I would do, y'all, is go ahead and get this stirred up before you even try to beat it up. That's what I like to always do, just get it stirred up before you even try to beat it up. And beat it on low, y'all, first. So just combine everything. 
and then go in with your beat. And I'ma, hopefully, this is not too loud. Hold on, God. cook it for three minutes okay so now what we're gonna do go ahead and put something cover this real good and always try everything you make it to make sure it tastes good so let's try this tastes good. Okay. go ahead and get your beater cleaned up and all this good stuff and then we'll come back and put it inside of the um, pie crust that the thing that I really like about mine is it has like my my like a the thing I like about my mixer, can't even talk, is that you are able to store your beaters inside of here. So I don't go looking for my beaters. It's already in here. And like I said, you guys, they're not expensive. Just find you something really good, especially around the holidays. They are really good to have for cooking different things. And I also want to tell you guys, too, if you're not a banana person, what I do is I just buy this Jello No Bake, the um, strawberry or the raspberry. It's good, too, you guys, like real good. It's got a nice topping. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I kind of like it better than I know a lot of people going to be crazy that I said this, but Cheesecake Factory. This is some really good Jello. Try it one time, you guys. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, y'all, is I'm going to cut some bananas. Don't cut too many bananas, y'all, because you know if you cut too many bananas, it will turn brown. So you use your judgment and how many bananas you're going to cut because they turn brown real quick. And I think that's kind of what I don't like about bananas, really, because I hate when they get brown. I can't stand when it's brown. Sometimes I like bananas and sometimes I don't. It just all depends on my mood. So you guys, all we're going to do is cut them into cute little circles. Because we're going to be adding this um, at the bottom of something or something. We're going to add these bananas in there. And when I'm doing this, y'all just play it by ear. Wherever I want to add the bananas, if I want to put it as a layer, it's all up to you how you want to lay these bananas and your cheesecake. You can do a layer of uh, pudding, put it in the refrigerator, um, and do a layer of cheesecake so you can have two different layers It's all up to you and what you want to do y'all so it's not a right or wrong way But that end I go ahead and throw that in the trash Okay, so let me go ahead and get this cut up real quick and I'll be back Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm about to put the pudding at the bottom Just kind of just section out the pudding And just to let you know, like I told you, this is my first time making pudding. It actually get thicker the longer it sits out. So it did thicken up a lot. So if you want to follow the directions and use the two milk, two, two um, things of milk, you can. But my stomach mess up from milk and milk just ain't a friend of ours. So I don't really try to use as much. You'd be amazed sometimes when things say use milk. You don't got to use as much as it say. Okay, so yeah, so we got that pudding down. And now what I'm going to do, and my hands is clean, I'm going to go ahead and put some bananas at the bottom of my hand. Because I want it to kind of taste like a banana pudding. This is my first time y'all making banana pudding, this little recipe. So, so like I said, y'all can layer however y'all want to layer. It's up to you. It's not a right or wrong way. It's whatever you feel. I never knew how hard it was to pick up a banana. Okay, so get your hands washed and we about to bring out the um the um vanilla wafers. Yeah, I was never a banana pudding person when I was young. Like I said, I think it's because when the um bananas get brown, I just can't stand the sight of them. And that's what it seemed like. My brothers, they love banana pudding. Love it, love it, love it. So if you like banana pudding, you most definitely might like to try this. Okay, so y'all put a layer of that. And now what I'm going to do, y'all, is follow it up with the cheesecake. And this kind of got thicker. So. And if you want, you can actually mix them. But I just didn't want that. I wanted to have the both experiences. So that's why I'm doing it like this. 
And like I said, when you're cooking, it's all experiment. Try and see what works for you. If it don't work one time, try something different. Okay, so we got that layer. It's kind of like a little lasagna. Now what I'm gonna do, y'all, is add a little bit of pudding to this cheesecake so it can mix in together. the best of both worlds and like i said you guys always try what you are serving because it might not be good you always want to try it first so let me get a spoon from a clean spoon just to see what it tastes like mixed together it's actually real good y'all like real real good Any of y'all out there, you should eat the palm. Love when your mom have the bowl and you can be able to lick from the bowl and the beaters. Now, y'all, it's so crazy because they be acting like everything make the kids sick. So, I don't know if people still do that or not, but I know we used to enjoy it. And I still enjoy it. I'm not going to even lie. I still be eating cake batter. Okay, so we got that down. And if you make any messes, make sure you clean it up because you want the cake to be as cute as possible. So, let me take that little mess off right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to add, wash my hands, and add some bananas to the top. And instead of me making it a layer of um, those vanilla wafers, I'm going to actually just crumble them up. Y'all, it's hard holding onto a banana. A banana is real slippery. You'll never think that, but it is. And just kind of make the bananas cute. However you want to lay the banana, and I'm going to lay these real quick. Oh, and I forgot to also tell you guys I have some whipped cream. So what I'm going to do is once this is um, frozen, I mean frozen, once it's molded and stuff, the next day I'm going to put some whipped cream on here. Um, and then I'm going to sprinkle some of the little graham crackers on the crust stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to kind of crumble it up with my hands, y'all. Like so, so just kind of crumble it up. I want to see how it comes out by crumble. Because I don't want a big, I just kind of want like little crumbs. And I forgot somebody told me you can put uh, this inside of a hefty bag. Like if you're trying to make crumbs or whatever, put it in a hefty bag and hit it with a cup. And that's the way you can get crumbs too. So you don't got to do it the messy way that I'm doing it right now. <laughs> so you just kind of give it a little extra uh with the graham crackers, uh, with the vanilla wafers. Okay, so again, y'all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit. I will always make this, bless you, I will make this about, I'm going to say, try to make it the day before, because you kind of need it to sit out, I mean, to not sit out, sit in the refrigerator so it can mold for about six hours. So you most definitely want to make this ahead of time, okay? And then put your little whipped cream on and you will have it going on. This is really nice. I can't wait to be try it too. Okay guys, let me give y'all a close. And once it get done and molded, I will come back to let you guys see. It smells amazing because you know bananas smell good anyway. So let's let it mold for six hours and I'll come back with the end result. And if you guys do make this, let me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care you guys.